The Sicilian Vespers, i Vespri Siciliani, was the uprising of Sicily against French rule in 1282. Within weeks, the government was replaced and the ruler, Charles I of Anjou, was deposed. During this time, approximately 13,000 French men, women and children died. This historical incident began the War of the Sicilian Vespers. This historical event inspired an opera by Giuseppe Verdi, which was released in 1855. There is a long-standing discussion as to whether this was a genuine uprising, a well-planned coup, or a bit of both. Subsequently, the Sicilian Vespers were frequently referred to during attempts to unify Sicily with Italy, also known as Il Risorgimento. During the age of the Sicilian Vespers, there was a lo an ongoing struggle for power between the Pope and the rulers of the European city-states. The Pope and the Hohenstaufen, Holy Roman Emperors, struggled for control of Italy and especially the church's own property, which was under the direct sovereign rule of the Pope. This papal property was spread across northern Italy and Sicily, areas which were ruled by the Hohenstaufen monarch, the Emperor. Pope Innocent IV considered that his power superseded that of any earthly monarch. Pope Innocent IV inherited this ongoing property dispute with the Holy Roman Emperor. He fled to Lyon in France to escape the risk of plots by the Emperor against him. In 1245, Pope Innocent IV excommunicated Frederick II and declared him deposed. This was a serious act as society in this period was heavily influenced by religion. This papal action caused Frederick II a number of issues in both Germany and Italy. Frederick died in 1250 and his legitimate son Conrad IV of Germany began his reign. The Pope sought assistance from the English in order to unseat Manfred, Frederick's illegitimate son, but after prolonged negotiations this did not materialise. The Pope's policy was to engage with any support which would degrade the Hohenstaufen dynasty. Feeling the threats to his life had receded, Pope Innocent IV returned to Rome in 1253. In 1254, unrest continued with the deaths of both Pope Innocent IV and Conrad at the age of 26 due to malaria. Pope Innocent IV was succeeded by Pope Alexander IV. Pope Alexander IV excommunicated Manfred. Manfred subsequently appeared in Dante's Inferno on the grounds of this. Following untrue rumours of Conradin's death, this was the son of Conrad, Manfred was crowned King of Sicily in 1258. He reigned until 1266. Pope Alexander died in 1261 and was succeeded by Pope Urban IV. In this period the Vatican was very active politically and known to excommunicate people it disagreed with. There was a constant tension between monarchs and the perceived interference of the Vatican which blurred religion with politics. There was ongoing tension between the Guelphs, 
who supported the Pope, and the Ghibellines, who supported the Emperor. The famous Italian poet Dante was condemned to death and eventually exiled after getting involved in this political struggle between Emperor and Pope. Ghibellines opposing the Pope caused Alexander IV to eventually flee Rome. Baldwin II, the Latin Emperor, had lost the city of Constantinople and had no kingdom. Pope Urban IV endlessly negotiated with Manfred for support in order to retake Constantinople on behalf of Baldwin II. Manfred agreed to assist the Pope and pledged his support. Pope Urban IV and later Pope Clement IV refused to recognise Manfred as legitimate ruler of Sicily. Instead, the popes agreed with Charles I of Naples that removing the Hohenstaufen dynasty would secure their papal property in northern Italy and Sicily. As he negotiated with Manfred, Pope Urban IV prepared Charles I of Naples as his benevolent candidate who would make no claim on papal property. At this point, Pope Urban IV declared a crusade against Manfred of Sicily and helped fund Charles I's military campaign. Pope Urban IV died in 1264 and was succeeded by Pope Clement IV.